What's going on? Scouts 311 here, and this is Unfinished Swan, a new game on the PlayStation Network store. That uh, if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, you get to download it a week early. I believe it's a week early. So I downloaded it today. Um, obviously, it's a, kind of like a new indie type of game. It's kind of looked interesting, um, puzzle-ish, and. Uh, and I really don't know much about it besides that. So it looks like we have this toys where you can unlock different toys in the game or unlock different things. Um, and then your options are just really basic. And it's a PlayStation Move game too if you want to use the motion controller, which I do have, but I don't have it hooked up. Um, so I'm not going to worry about it. So let's just see what this thing's all about. Monroe's mother had always been much better at starting things than finishing them. When she died, she left behind over 300 canvases, not one of them finished, along with Monroe, who felt pretty unfinished himself. The orphanage allowed him to keep only one painting, and so he chose the unfinished swan that had always been his mother's favorite. But that night, he woke up to find the swan had disappeared. So he took his mother's silver paintbrush and followed the footprints into a little door he hadn't seen before. Okay, I think I'm like supposed to do something. That's the... Alright, this game's tripped out already. Alright, so we're in a... Okay, I think I kind of get it. <laughs> so, way to go faster? Just double tap, or just keep tapping it. Looks like every button base, all the triggers do, they throw paint, and then, okay, we can jump. Some footprints. I have a feeling we probably can't go in the water, right? <laughs> or can we? Oh no, it won't even allow us in the water. Okay, so we gotta find a way around. 
Whoa. that way. Alright, so we can't cover up the footprints, which is probably a good thing, so you don't get lost. There we go. Imagine how many like hidden type of like see you can unlock toys and stuff. I don't know uh, exactly how you get it, but I'm assuming there's collectibles in the game that you to unlock them. And I'm only have a feeling uh, you know how difficult it's gonna be to find some of them. The way this game is made, where you have to know exactly where to go. At least it seems, you know, you can't see nothing. Hello? to get through this door or something right, let's build this room up a little bit So we got windows. How does this go up? Uh, looks like a walkway or something. Possibly. And I have no idea how we'd get up there. A 
That's still pretty far out there. I think the balloons are the collectibles, if I remember from that toy. The toy menu that had to do with the balloons. Matter if we get all these um, golden things covered or anything? I don't know. Let's try to get this balloon first. This looks like a pretty easy one, maybe. You never know because you can't see shit. Oh, you just gotta throw the paint, and we gotta catch it. You just gotta throw the paint at it. That makes it easy. So we have some we can unlock. I think there was something for one point to unlock. The king there we was go. young, arrogant, and amazingly talented. He was convinced no color existed that was good enough for his garden, so he left it white. While he pondered how to create some new colors, his kingdom began attracting settlers, and soon he found himself with bigger problems. I wish you can hold the button down. They yeah, keep tapping it, as far as I can tell. Every button that throws, which is all the trigger buttons, all four of them. You can alternate, though, between two of them to, like, really throw it, you know. Maybe there's something you can buy to help you throw, you know, um, faster. Oh shit. Alright, I guess I was supposed to do that. Alright, part two. The Watchtower. Game is a trip. I do like these indie games though that are that are like this that are different. Um, like Journey was is probably one of my favorite games I ever played actually. That game was just unbelievable. Uh oh. So now this is—I um, don't know, I have a feeling this isn't going to be anything as impactful as Journey was to me, but that was something special. So okay, so we got. 
We need to go up. Some. Okay, this. I said we're in a watchtower, so going up makes sense. Now, what are these pots doing here? Can I grab them? No, but I can move them. Okay. That looks like the way to go. But if we follow the footprints, we need to go this way. So let's let's follow the footprints. Good thing you can't like fall to your death. Oh, wait a minute. All right, I've flipped out now. That resets the room. Oh, so I need to fall this way. That's it. Boom. There it is. All right, I get it. Boss fight. Door closed. Zelda boss fight. Yeah, Gazelle, every time that, that da boss dungeon door closes, Link looks surprised, even though it's happened to him a million times. The king's new subjects were tired of white. They were tired of tripping, of banging their shins, of misplacing their homes. So they started painting everything, ruining the king's spotless design. In response, the king outlawed all non-magical brushes and pledged to spend the next month painting shadows for his kingdom. Oh, shadows not bad. So yeah, I don't know. I have no idea how long this game is or anything. Um, all I knew that it had to do with paint. <laughs> well, that's cool looking. Hey, and that's it. I didn't even know that it was like this. Wow, that's cool. All right, I like it. Um, but whoa. That's what I said. So being that, I have no idea how long it is. I'm assuming it's going to be a, the first castle. Okay. I'm assuming it's only going to be probably a few hours. Games like this tend to be a few hours long. Like Journey, you know. I mean, even though Journey was a few hours long, it was a unbelievably unbelievable few hours. I don't think we can go in water at all. Or we can go in water, but we shouldn't go in water. Well, now we know. Before, I don't think it seemed like it even let me jump in that water when I was trying to cross early in the game. Balloon? Yes, it is. Get it. Get it. Nice. Hmm. Yellow and blue. Uh oh. That looks important. Alright. Can we climb you? Alright. Who's that Kanza balloon? No. Whoa. So here's the kingdom so far, kinda. I remember going up those first steps. 
Anything up here? No. Oh boy. That looks interesting. Alright, there's the swan. Designed to be practical, and it wasn't. Whole families got lost for weeks at a time, mail took months to arrive, and many worried a labyrinth of this size was bound to attract dragons. Eventually, the complaints <laughs> grew so loud, even the king couldn't ignore them. Okay, I have a feeling we gotta go that way, but I don't know. Remember that little map, it kind of went off to the right and then a little down and kind of looped back up to the north and kind of like to the north. I just kind of want to take a look though around real quick, see. If I go too far in here though, then I'm going to get lost. From the way I think we should go. I'm sure there's balloons or something around here. Is there a way to run faster? So let's go, it kind of went this way, and then like down, and then looped around that little map in that room. The shadows anything to do with anything? <laughs> The king was so frustrated with the messy, demanding people of his kingdom that he decided to start over. One morning he painted a boat and set off to find the perfect spot. He told himself he'd come back someday to finish what he had started, but of course, he never did. That's not good. Okay, well, that's where we were. Oh, there's a balloon down there. Son of a bitch. So that it's right even with that hand. Actually probably well, shouldn't take long to get to. Like you gotta follow your you know, follow your paint. Get back. 
I wish there was a button to run a little faster. That's all I wish right now because the game is interesting. But you can't run fast, make up ground. Yeah, we weren't very far from it. Okay, that's not right. I'm not gonna try to get every balloon on this like this little playthrough here, but if there's one that's obvious like that, I think you need to try to. Of course, from this angle, it's pretty difficult to see it. like right up here, wasn't it? Let's get back to this hand and try to figure this out. It was between the hand and the... Oh, was that it? I guess that had to be it, huh? Seems like it was higher up than that. To me. But, alright, let's take, let's do it. I'd be surprised if there are two balloons there. I guess when we go back up, we can look through the telescope again and see if it's gone. It almost seemed to me like it was higher up. That's why I kept throwing up. Um, like, on, right on top of that wall. But apparently it wasn't. Oh, there's another balloon right there. Jesus, right there. I think I took a look. Yeah, it was right there. Okay. Alright. For the first time in weeks, Monroe felt good. He felt even better when the wind pushed him close enough to reach the swan. He was feeling so good, in fact, that he forgot all about his fear of heights. But when the swan wriggled free and Monroe fell over the side, he uh -oh. remembered almost immediately. That might have been the end of Monroe, if this were a shorter story. But it isn't, which is why Monroe's troubles were just beginning. All right, we got a trophy painter. Oh, we missed a whole shitload of balloons. Oh my god, we missed two in the very beginning. The watchtower, we didn't go at all in the first. Okay, you know what? Cool. They at least they got because there's four chapters. At least they got a um, credits hunt. Huh? Oh, zero zero. <laughs> They tell you where you missed them. I like that, so you know you know where to go and get them. Cause it's not that big of a like each of the little worlds aren't that big, so you'd be able to go back and get them pretty easily. I think if you can go back and play, yeah, it looks like you can select an area to go back to. All right, cool. So I think we'll stop here. I was actually gonna make 
uh, longer videos, but the way it's it's actually broken up pretty nice here by chapters. So we'll end in chapter one. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.